What's up guys from Istanbul, Turkey? Today we're going to the Grand Bazaar, the oldest mall in the world and one of the largest markets on earth. guys are ready for the craziness that is the Grand Bazaar. We're going in right now. Look at this. <laughs> Look how far this goes on. If you can see way back there. So welcome guys to the Grand Bazaar, one of my favorite places in the world. I was here years ago and I just couldn't get enough of how crazy this place is. It continues on over 60 streets and there are 4,000 shops here. So you can't really see everything. Some even call this the oldest mall in the world. <laughs> it's been here for, I think about 500 years. People have been doing their shopping here. All the locals come here. It's not just a tourist thing. Turkish people have been shopping here for 500 years. That is crazy. Hard to choose where to go. So this market was built within the walls of this fort and look at the ceiling. You can see how old this place is. There are frescoes on the ceiling. And then over the years it just kept expanding and expanding and expanding. So I believe I'm in kind of the center right now, but it has expanded over miles, miles of shops and you just kind of have to walk around and see what you run into, get lost in the maze, and that's how you come across the best stuff. So the main reason that I love this market is it actually has good quality stuff. There are a lot of places in the world that I've been, when you go to a market and it's some more touristy country, they will have like the t-shirts saying, I love Cancun, I love wherever I am wherever you are traveling to and everything is reproduced everything's plastic fake bad quality but here you you do get some of that but mostly it seems of decent quality and even if it isn't i can't tell and that's all that matters <laughs> okay pop quiz question of the day this is a new thing question of the day do you know what this is? Let me know in the comments if you have any idea. What is it called and what does it mean? No matter where you're from, take a guess if you don't know. These are all over Turkey. Do you know what this is? Now going back outside. Sand. I really have no idea where I'm going. <laughs> If I was looking for something, I would be walking around for hours looking for something specific. Wouldn't know where to find it. Hoping I just run into something interesting to buy. And I really like this bazaar not just for the shops, not just for the shopping, but some of the places in the middle here you'll see actual locals just sitting there having tea together, which is something you have to do when you're here in, in Turkey. Everybody drinks tea all the time. They take breaks together, the workers who work in this bazaar, they take breaks, they eat these little tables, or they drink 
tea, at least, at these little tables. It's pretty cool to see a little bit of local life. And these lamps just had a lot of light and color. So cool. Wow. More lamps. More of these. I think I have to get one of these. I'll explain it in the next video after you guys have guessed. Hello. Hello. How much? How much for the the small small ones like yes. this? Yes. This is five lira. Five lira. Okay. Ten lira, also big size. This is five. Okay. Smaller one. Okay. Also, we have marked the ten lira. Look at these guys, I call them the runners, the tea runners. You'll see them all over uh, Istanbul, but especially in this market, they're all over the place because the workers are constantly drinking their tea. All right, so I got my first thing. First thing, I got this. It's not a bracelet, it's not a necklace, it's just to hang somewhere. I need to bleep that out. But he started out at 30 and I got him down to 10. So that's something you need to do in this market. It's haggle. So guys, I got some extra things. And I just decided right now that I want to give some of these to you. So if you're not Turkish and you know what this is and you leave a comment below and you're right, I'm going to give three of these away to a few of the people that are right. I will let you know soon and you'll have to give me a, your address. You can't be from Turkey though. What is this? Let's try. Marijuana chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> this bombing one was pomegranate. Pomegranate, oh. Huh? <laughs> okay, perfect. Uh, America. We're safe. Uh, California. California. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Come try this one. That's pretty good. Look at this. It's a so pomegranate on the outside. Hello. Good morning. Hello. What's your name? Mother. <laughs> this Corona tea. <laughs> oh, try, try. Corona tea. <laughs> Sounds good. It's very good. One. This open bread for cold. Ooh. For this this made all with ginger and ginger. Okay. Let's check out this shop. Yeah. Wow, that this is a strong is tea. Chipping, meat, barbecue. Mm. This tea, I stress this one. Relax tea for relaxing, for hyper sharp. Jasmine? Yes, you put one in hot water, it's only oh. like this one. So do people buy these by pound or they buy one whole thing? What you want? What is this? This one, bone granite, this rose, this fruit. How much is that? <laughs> this nothing, Robert. <laughs> okay, thank you. What's your name? Uh, Alex. Alex. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice you. Alright, some Turkish delights. Huh? Oh, oh. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good day. So, I decided to spend 5 lira, which is like 50 cents, on these Turkish delights because I haven't had any yet. So, we'll try these soon. So right outside of the bazaar, you have these cool winding roads like this. Still, you have the walls of the bazaar, the old, old walls of the bazaar, and then cobbled roads, which makes this really cool in itself. And I'm not sure if this is still considered part of the Grand Bazaar or not, but it's still basically the, the bazaar. <laughs> the same the same kind of stuff. You have clothes being sold, little trinkets. So you don't only have to find yourself within the confines of the walls of the bazaar. You can go right outside of it and still there's a lot of cool stuff to see. Ben 
Avengers. Yes. Brother, enjoy it. Ooh, hot day. It's about that time for some liquid. So dehydrated. So this is a fresh squeezed orange juice. It was 12 or 13. Either way, that's like a dollar fifty. Less than a dollar fifty. And guys, if you didn't already know, I'm Alexander Travelbum and I am attempting to travel to every country in the world to share it all with you. So if you're not already, make sure you subscribe and click that bell button so that you get notified of every video. I see we've entered the clothing area. This is all clothing in this part. So the streets are named according to what they were selling, what they were selling at the time, hundreds of years ago. And you wouldn't know it if you don't speak Turkish. But <laughs> there's probably, you know, like a clothing street, like a, a, a rugs street, stuff like that. Really creative. <laughs> but it works because it's a maze. I think you kind of need that to, to know where you're going. P-Day, P-Day. So finding a good rooftop is actually proving kind of difficult. <laughs> I can't seem to find them or they're not open right now because of the times. But there's one that's not as, not as good looking, but it should be open because it's an actual really known uh, bar restaurant instead of just, you know, kind of a photographic opportunity to get onto a roof, which some of these are. So some of them are kind of like secret locations. This one should be easier to find, but it won't be the best. Yep, and there it is already. I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Just so you know, when you see those rooftops on those uh, Instagram pictures of Istanbul, a lot of them are kind of set up <laughs> and fake. So it looks like it's closed today, but this is what it actually looks like, all set up with fake fruits and everything. So from here I have a view of the Bosphorus. I have one of the mosques here and one here. I'm not sure. That might be the Blue Mosque or maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Several mosques you can see. The bridge, east to west, Istanbul. And a tea. Right. Thank you. And this is a rosehip tea. Look at this contraption. So I think I'm gonna let it steep for a little bit and then press it and pour it. So I'm not exactly sure how you get to that rooftop part for the photos, but this has a good view. And this is called Nova Centille Cafe. So if you look for that, you'll be able to find the other one as well, if that's what you're looking for. things in Istanbul, the call to prayer as you're eating, when you're waking up. It just echoes throughout the whole city, especially when you're on a rooftop like this. Oh wow, 
I'm leaving the restaurant now and I'm just saying the other side has a mosque right here. Big old mosque right here. So this is the front of the place and they kind of, it looks like they're promising this, but you don't really get that, or at least it's not open right now. So, I don't know. Okay, that wasn't quite the rooftop experience that I had in mind, <laughs> but, but that's okay. Everything else has been really cool so far.